The second video in this series explained why the cleaning and disinfecting aspects of root canal treatment are so important, but really that's just part of the story. After all, if this hollow space inside the tooth is so indefensible, what's to keep it from becoming recontaminated over time? That's where the second goal of root canal therapy comes into play. Once a tooth has been disinfected, this cleanliness must be preserved. The dentist ensures this by creating a seal for the tooth's hollow interior. In most cases, the tooth is sealed using a rubber compound called gutta percha. Our video here on DentalPictureShow.com that describes the individual steps of root canal treatment provides an explanation about how it is placed. The function of the seal is actually twofold. As you might expect, it helps to prevent bacteria and contaminants from seeping back into the tooth's root. Maybe less anticipated, it also helps to prevent contaminants still remaining inside the tooth from continuing to leach out. The reality of root canal anatomy is not unlike a river, where small side channels branch off and then re-enter the main stream. In those cases where some traces of contaminants still remain, the seal that the dentist creates must entomb them so they can't continue to seep out and irritate the tissues that surround the tooth's root. We'll also mention that another aspect of creating an adequate seal for a tooth has to do with the final restoration that's placed after treatment has been completed. This restoration must create a barrier at the chewing aspect of the tooth so to prevent contaminants from re-entering via this pathway. The type of restoration that is chosen for this seal is an important consideration and can significantly influence the long-term success of the treatment the tooth has received. We have a video that covers this topic in detail here on DentalPictureShow.com.